Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alexa and today I'm giving you part three of a five part YouTuber series. So today's episode is gonna be how I make my thumbnail and I'll pop it up on the screen right here. So um, I'm gonna show you kind of what website I use to make my thumbnails and then also I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I've gone through my thumbnails this past six months. I've really been trying to find the one that really works for me, the one that I like the best, and the one that I have right now is probably my favorite so far. So let me know what you think. And um, if you haven't yet, there are two other videos that are currently up in this series, and if you hit that subscribe button, there will be two more that are coming. So by the way, if you leave a comment down below, you will get a subscriber shout out at the beginning of each of my videos. I am looking at all the comments I got from all my different videos for the week and then I'm leaving one person that gets our subscriber shout out of the day kind of. So my subscriber shout out of the day goes out to Sasha's life life <laughs> and I'll put her comment on the screen. She said loved it and love you with three hearts. Thought it was super sweet. It was on my A Week in the Life video that went out this past week and uh yeah. So thank you, Sasha, and I just wanted to say if you want to be the next subscriber shout out, then please leave a comment down below and you could be it. So um, I'm just going to get right into it because I know you guys are just here for the thumbnail information. So yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, you guys. So the first step that we will actually be taking when it comes to making my thumbnail is opening up a website called Canva. That's C-A-N-V-A. Canva.com. So this website is really, really awesome. Uh, you'll obviously have to make an account. The account is free if you don't already have an account. Of course, if you have an account, that's great. Um, what you'll do is you'll go to the search bar. Once you're logged in, you'll go to the search bar. You'll search YouTube thumbnail. Click on YouTube thumbnail and it will pull up this blank canvas for you to work with. And so what we're working with here is you have a couple of options. So you can either make your own or you can use one of these pre-selected, pre-made ones that are on this left-hand side of the screen. Um, they have a ton of categories and then they have a bunch of stuff inside of the categories too. So you have so many options if you want to make or use a pre-made one, but I actually made this one by myself. So I'm going to walk you through how I made that one by myself. But the first thing I actually need to do is get my thumbnail picture that I will be using, which is just a random screenshotted picture that um, just came from this video. So I'm just gonna grab that quick and hop back onto Canva with that. Alrighty, I got my thumbnail all saved on my desktop, so I'm just gonna drag that over and that will just upload it straight to my thumbnail that I'll be using. And then I'm just gonna resize it so it fits exactly on the screen, exactly the way I want it. Um, they have so many options when it comes to filtering and adjusting your photos. You can go through their preset filters and they have a ton of them. And then there's also a couple of more options when it comes to it. There's adjusting it, which you can literally adjust the brightness levels yourself, the contrast, the coloration, the saturation, anything like that that you might want to adjust yourself in your pictures, you can do on this website, which is really awesome. They also have a crop tool and a flip tool if either of those are your fancy or however you say that. <laughs> okay, anyways, so I'm happy with my thumbnail the way it is right now. This is how I want it. So now if you look at my thumbnail, you see that I have this little white shape where I put my text. So I make that shape myself by grabbing a rectangle and two triangles. So first of all, I grab the rectangle and I'm going to resize it exactly the way I want it. Make sure it's white by clicking this little box in the corner. And um, yeah, you can make this as narrow, as wide, tall, thin, whatever you wanna call it. You can make it exactly how you want it and you can put it anywhere on the screen that you want it. Um, and with the triangle, I just resize it exactly the same size as this rectangle and then I attach it to the side and it turns out beautiful. So next we're actually going to do some text because you can't have a thumbnail without any text. So we're going to go over here to the left hand side with this text button, click add a heading and then I'm going to type out my little heading. 
And then the way I change my font is super, super easy. I just go up to this left-hand corner, and the font I use is called, I believe, True Typewriter, but I just write in Type, and then Typewriter pops up. So we're going to use that font, and then there are many ways I can resize it. I can do it manually here at the top of the screen, or I can do it just by dragging this little corner. And once I'm happy with my thumbnail, you can adjust it. You can do it completely different than mine. I'm just showing you how I do mine. <laughs> but once I'm happy with my thumbnail, the download button is just in the right-hand corner, top right hand. I download as a PNG, and it turns out really nice. I really love it. All right, before you guys head out on me, I just want to kind of take you on a trip down memory lane. I've been on YouTube for a little over six months now, and I've had four different um, thumbnail designs, so I just kind of thought I'd go through them and show you what I've kind of done, what worked, what didn't. So my first thumbnail design was one of those preset designs from Canva, and I only used it on maybe like two or three videos before I switched it. I didn't like how thin the font was, and that was like a thing for me. Um, my second design was this design, also a preset on Canva, and I did like this design for a while, but then I realized it probably looked unprofessional. I couldn't tell if I really liked it all that much, and I ultimately changed my mind. So this thumbnail is actually the first one that I designed myself, and I put my name in the upper left hand corner and everything. Um, and this one stuck with me for a while. I really did like it, but I found that it looked, I didn't, I don't know, it just didn't convey what I wanted it to convey. And last but not least, this is my current thumbnail, the one that I just show you how I make. And this one is my absolute favorite. I think I will be sticking with this one probably at least through October. So you better get used to it if you're a subscriber here. Um, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. Let me know if you guys try out my thumbnail design or Canva in general. It's a great website. And uh, you guys, tune in. Hit that subscribe button because there are a lot of great videos coming up and I can't wait to share them with you guys. Alright, have a good one. Bye!